have been AWOL for a while, um, looking after kids and whatnot. Kids, child, child. Um, so today is my registry and I thought I would do this makeup look for you guys. Uh, let me know what you think and um, this is the first time you're hearing me speak so do excuse how I sound. But anyway, I hope you do enjoy it. Like, subscribe, leave your comments below for anything I need to improve on. And um, yay, can't wait. Anyway, um, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So first of all, I'm going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Original Primer. And then using the matte paint, I'm just going to use this as a base. So most of the shadow needs from my eyes today is eyes from this. So we'll see Anastasia Mario palette. And as you can see, I just dropped the brushes that came with it. But look how amazing these colours are! Just look at them. I'm going to start by using Hollywood on my brow bone. So again, just want to get my finger and just apply it like this. Going in with Luda, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm just going to use this as a transition colour using my medallion 7 I guys I really hate talking on video. I don't know how people do it, but I just sound like an absolute kid slash idiot. So usually with my eyes, fortunately I don't have the eye space that I would want to show off my eye makeup because I don't know if you can see, but I've got quite a bit of a gap between my brow bone and my actual lid. So when I tend to do the transitioning, I tend to just go like up to, well halfway up to my brow bone, just so you can see the colour at least. The joys of having half hooded eyes, almost hooded eyes, might as well be hooded eyes. So for my lids, I'm going to go in with Paris. I usually when I put um, shadow on my like, lid, I just tend to use my fingers because I just think you get more applications that way rather than using your brush. Now I tend to do with another brush, so this one is more the M433. I'm just going to go with the same colour again. Paris and then just go blend that in with the transition transition colour. a few drops on my fingers. You don't need a lot. I, I, when I first got it, I let you put more than four drops. Um, my foundation just looked really oily. 
so literally a few drops is more than enough but this as well gives you a nice dewy finish and it smells quite amazing and it's good as a lip balm right for the foundation I'm gonna go in with my Morphe E6 brush and I'm gonna use my NARS uh, Sheer Glow in the in the colour Fiji 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 So I'm just gonna hold it on there Maybe a bit more because I wanna follow full coverage Okay that's quite a lot and just grab one so one Okay, I'm just gonna slip it in. Using my next conceal correct contour, I'm just gonna conceal my eyes. A mixture of this um this colour. And the Real Technique Pointed Foundation Brush. I'm just going to start concealing and highlighting. So I'm going to use the Kevin Up One Skin Enhancer in the number four. And just start highlighting the areas that highlighted. I honestly don't know the number of this, but I will find out because it's pretty wet off. One is the new 
mark and opening and the other my favorite where is it it's the Laura Mercia and candlelight I'm just going to scar everything in. Okay, for the lips now, I'm just going to go in with the MAC lip liner and saw. enjoyed the video as much as I did not enjoy talking but um do leave your comments below subscribe or like the whole shebang and I'll see you guys next time